Good afternoon. My name is Ronald Ilagan, and I am a member of MSU Center for Law, Technology, and Innovation. And with me today is Shelly Reed, who is a 2020 alumna who has previously participated in the Social Media Challenge contest here at MSU Law. Thank you for coming, Shelly. I'm glad to be here. So for today, Shelly, we just had a few questions we just wanted to ask you as an alumna. Uh, firstly, why did you choose to fund the Social Media Challenge? Well, I decided to fund the Social Media Challenge because when I came to law school, I had no social media presence. Um, quite frankly, I um, had really um, uh, had tried to minimize my presence on the internet completely. I had worked in law enforcement, so being on social media was definitely not something that was recommended. Um, that had changed a little bit by the time I actually started law school, but in general, um, upper level um, law enforcement certainly does not appreciate a lot of social media presence. So, you know, I very quickly learned um, while I, when I was at school, you know, uh, that social media was something that I needed to be involved in, and I learned that it was an endless source of information. So by engaging in social media, I created a social network of people. Um, and it was all due to um, you know, the social media contest. Um, so I wanted to see the contest continue because I gained so much in my own life from it. Um, and we'll probably talk a little bit more as we go through about the benefits of having been on social media for myself. But really, the seed to funding, you know, to sponsoring the contest was started in my 1L year when um, I participated in the 1L brief writing contest. And there was a feature on Don Nystrom, who is an alum that funds that contest every year. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool, you know, <laughs> that an alum cares enough about students that they want to fund, you know, something, a fun thing for students to do. So that seed just um, sat back in the back of my mind. And then an opportunity for um, some funds came available. My husband, um, we've always um, donated through the Combined Federal Campaign, which is a government employee um, campaign to help charitable donations. And when his renewal came up, I was like, I, I mentioned to him, you know, what would you say about, you know, setting those funds aside for something that's a, that's a little different? And um, so, so we, you know, through a process of elimination, that's how we ended up having the funds available to fund the contest, but getting the idea to, um, to fund. Gotcha. That's, that's really awesome. And, you know, I, I know you mentioned the benefits of uh, social media, and I guess I, I'd like to ask you also, so how did the use of social media uh, impact your law school employment opportunities? Well, about a month into the very first social media contest that I participated in in my 1L year, I saw on Twitter a tweet from the ATJ Tech Fellows program. And that is a program that's run for what else to participate in their one, uh, their summer between their 1L and 2L year. And it's a paid internship program for 1Ls. And I saw it on Twitter, I applied and I was accepted. So that was the very first opportunity within, like I said, within the first month of being in the social media contest, I had benefited from being on social media. Um, so then from there, I um, continued to tweet even after the social media contest ended that year. And in August, right before I entered my 2L year, I saw an opportunity to that Kevin O'Keefe from Lexblog was advertising for a Washington DC law student to assist at ILTACON, which is one of the largest legal tech conferences, and it's a very expensive conference to go to. Um, so 
I was like, well, I'm not, I, you know, I don't go to law school in Washington, DC, but I live here and I'm still here now. <laughs> Can I help? So he actually let me come and help. And so we actually did interviews of legal tech founders. And one of the people that we interviewed was Cash Butler, who is the founder of Clara Legal. And, you know, over the years, you, you know, Cash figures in greatly into my um, employment currently. So we'll get back to him. But, you know, so, so right there in my first year of being on social media, I had already had two opportunities that have led to bigger things from that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, another thing being on Twitter. So the summer of my, that I completed my 2L year, I actually went to Vanderbilt Law for a conference that I had seen advertised on Twitter. <laughs> and I walked into this conference, not you know thinking I didn't know anyone, but walked in and I was surrounded by a group of women who are very influential in legal tech and also the legal field. And they knew who I was and <laughs> they wanted to meet me because they recognized me from Twitter. And, you know, overall, I am a very shy person. So to be, you know, in a group of people at a conference is not um, typical for me, but these people approached me. So it became very clear that Twitter was an opening and a door to um, creating a network that was bigger than I would have, you know, just myself you know, in my room, you know, in my dorm room on campus. So those things have been very um, rewarding for me to see. And I would love to see all students have those opportunities. That's really, that's really cool. You being able to network with people you never thought of through Twitter and going to all these different places and people recognizing you, especially as a law student. I think that is you know, we're, we're, we're students, when we look outward to people, you know, uh, famous uh, lawyers and judges, but being recognized as a student is probably a super rewarding feeling, right? It's super fun. You know, yeah. I mean, I had um, communicated with Dennis Kennedy, who is now there at Michigan State, and I had met him on Twitter um, <laughs> before he became a professor. So that was really exciting, you know, that somebody I knew and respected from Twitter from his work at the ABA um, was actually coming to Michigan State. And so I knew to sign up for his classes. You know, So um, it's so much fun to see how doors open if you're willing to look for those opportunities. And for me, Twitter has been very influential. Sure. Um, so, so lastly, Shelly, I just like to ask you, uh, what piece of advice would you give to young lawyers and law students wanting to make the most out of social media for their professional online presence? Well, I guess we should start with getting a job. So, <laughs> so as much fun as I've had on Twitter, let's let's turn to LinkedIn for a minute. And I would have to say, for law students, the big thing is to personalize your profile. You know, uh, no one likes to see the generic things that LinkedIn offers you. So get a picture on LinkedIn, um, start engaging with others and, and be genuine when you engage. You know, if you see a post, respond to it, comment. And, you know, you will see people start watching for things that you're posting. Um, another thing that you can do on LinkedIn is to um, introduce yourself. You know, if you see someone who graduated from your school here in Michigan State, then introduce yourself and connect because that person has lots of connections and can expand your circle. So that is probably the biggest thing that I can say is um, personalize your profiles, whatever social media it is, um, make contact and engage in the social media platform. And, you know, I guess since we're focusing on LinkedIn this year, then that should be a big focus. And employers really do look at LinkedIn 
they may not say that they do, <laughs> but I can actually trace back as I've been applying to jobs over the last several years, you can see the views of the profile definitely go up and you can see that someone at this law firm or business has actually viewed your profile. So it is important and, um, you know, legal resumes are only a page long, they say. So use LinkedIn as a way of building, you know, writing your biography the way you want to be seen. So if you've done, you know, fun activities that, you know, they, <laughs> that you can't fit in anywhere on your resume, make sure it's on LinkedIn because those are the kind of fun things that people will ask you about in interviews. And then it gets you away from all those weird questions that they like to bring up to you. So if you can spend time talking about stuff you know, because you posted it in your profile, you can avoid some of those questions like, well, how would you handle this situation? <laughs> and it's always easier to talk about a real situation, things that you've done in life. It's a lot more interesting than you know answering those crazy questions that they throw at you during interviews. I, I really like the, the thought of, you're, you're writing your own biography. You're, you're, you're made, uh, controlling how you present yourself. Um, I, I think that is a very helpful way to look at social media. Um, well, those are all the questions I'd like to ask for you today, Shelly. Thank you so much once again for uh, coming on and speaking with us. Well, I appreciate the opportunity and I strongly encourage all students to participate in the social media contest. Um, and we didn't even we didn't even scratch the surface of all the benefits that I have achieved in my life and career just in the last four years from social media. So hopefully I'll have a chance to speak to you know more students about that in the future. Um, but I really appreciate you taking the time, Ronald. It was great to get to meet you. And for all the participants out there, I look forward to watching your growth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye.